Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams again, and today we're going to talk about the sampling distribution of the sample mean, or our new friend, X bar. So just a refresher, we're going to use the central limit theorem um, to be able to find the probability or the likelihood that a sample will have a mean greater than, less than, in between, all of those nifty things we can solve with when we have normal distribution. And so we have to remember that the distribution of the sample mean, X bar, will be approximately normal when one of two conditions is met. A, the population from which the sample is drawn is normal. The idea that a normal population generates a normally distributed sample. Or the sample size is sufficiently large. And remember, statistically speaking, a large sample size is any time our n is greater than 30. So as long as we have one of these two conditions present, we're able to proceed with the central limit theorem and solve for the probability of sample means. So we're going to look at traffic in Miami. So we had a recent survey that showed commuters in Miami spend on average 400 minutes stopped in traffic each week. This is the population mean. So I have mu equal to 400. The survey also determined that the standard deviation of the population was 24. So that gives me a sigma of 24. And we took a random sample of 144 people that gives me n equal to 144. And now what I want to know, what is the probability of selecting a sample with a mean of more than 40, 404.5 minutes? So I'm looking for the probability that the sample mean, x bar, is greater than 404.5 minutes. So remember we said there were two things that would allow us to proceed under central limit. One is normal distribution and the other is sample size. This problem does not tell us that the sample that the population is normally distributed. So we cannot make that assumption. But that's okay because we've got a sample size of 144 and since that's larger than our required 30, we can go ahead and apply normal distribution to the problem. So I've gone ahead and sketched out what this problem looks like. So remember that the mean of the sample mean is the same as the mean of the population. So we have the center of our distribution here at 400. And we want to know what is the probability that x bar is greater than 404.5. So the area we're looking for is this small tail of the curve up here at the top. So we're going to approach this like we would any normal um, distribution problem, and we're going to convert that 404.5 into a z-score. And my z-score is going to be found by taking x-bar of 404.5, and I'm going to subtract it from the mean of 400 to get that distance. And now what I need to do is convert it into units of standard deviation. But because we have the sampling distribution of sample means, we're going to find that by taking the standard deviation of the population, which was 24, and we're going to divide it by the square root of n, which is 144. Remember that this bottom part is um, sigma x bar, also known as the standard error of the mean. So when I do that piece of math, I'm going to come out with a z-score of 2.25. So I now know that this point on my curve falls 2.2 standard deviations above the mean. Now what I need to do is I need to find the area associated with the z-score of 2.25. And so I'm going to go look at a normal distribution table. 
So what I have here is I have a normal distribution table that represents for me the quantity of data that falls between the mean of the distribution and a value of Z. So I had 2.25, so I've got 2.2 here, I've got my 0.5 here. I'm looking for the point at which these two, this, col this row and this column intersect, and now I know that it's 0.4878. So from my normal distribution table, I knew that a Z of 2.25, when I move 2.25 standard deviations of the mean above the mean, I have 0 0.4878. And the normal distribution table that I used represented just this area. So now I know that this area is 0.4878. I also know that this entire side of the curve is equal to 0 0.50. So if I have 48.78 here, the rest of the 0 0.50 is here. And so I'm simply going to subtract, I'm going to take 0 0.5000 minus my 0.4878, and I'm going to come up with 0 0.0122. So now I know that this area here is 0 0.0122. So what that allows me to do is to come to the conclusion that the probability that we would randomly select a sample and that the sample would have a mean greater than 404.5 minutes is 1.0. 22% or the probability that X bar is greater than 404.5 minutes is equal to 1.22%. So um, that's sample means. I hope that this helped. Um, and if you need more help, come by my YouTube channel and We'll see what we can do to help.